real source of a lot of the violent rhetoric in America, uh, certainly over the last eight years, has been Donald Trump himself. I mean, after all, it was uh, on January 6, 2021, that he incited his followers uh, to go to the Capitol uh, and attack the United States Capitol. He knew that they had weapons when he addressed them and told them to go to the Capitol. Uh, it was Donald Trump who mocked the near killing of Paul Pelosi, the uh, husband of Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the House. This is a man uh, for whom violence and violent rhetoric uh, really comes as a second nature. I mean, just last week, two weeks ago at the debate, uh, he was talking about migrants in Springfield, Ohio, uh, eating pets. I, I mean, a completely ludicrous story that did cause uh, bomb threats mm. in Springfield, Ohio. There, there's something more sinister about this line on migrants, which, which again, you picked up this morning, and, it, and, it's, and we've seen it in history. And it's that sense of the, the other, the outsider, um, and, and what they're capable of. And, and again and again, he returns to that theme. How dangerous is that? Well, I think it's enormously dangerous, I, not only for immigrants to this country. And let's be very, very clear. The United States, apart from Native Americans, is a country of immigrants. Uh, when you start uh, demonizing people, uh, if, when you start saying that immigrants uh, or any group of people uh, are subhuman, uh, you are playing with fire. Uh, you are doing what dictators uh, certainly in, uh, in the tragedy of the 1930s uh, did in Europe. You know, if, if you want to be apocalyptic about it, you can say that this ends in what Donald Trump has threatened if he doesn't get elected. That is a bloodbath in America, a, a civil war. Now, no one wants that uh, if they're rational. Uh, in fact, what we have to have in America, and democracy requires it, but not only does democracy require it, but humanity requires it, is peace uh, and respect uh, for other people, for institutions. Uh, we have to have much more trust than we do have in American politics right now. Now, I've been in and around American politics for 50 years. Uh, I don't remember a period in which there has been more anger and distrust yeah. than there has been recently.